Hello and welcome to this iron raft self build tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a simple curving seam. This seam is between the large middle section going towards the end of the boat. It's a simple seam so it's a great place to start. Okay so you'll remember from the previous step we've left these tabs unsealed. That's so you can put the seam in between there and seal right up to it. So go ahead and put the seam in there. Uh, you're going to want a shiny side TPU facing upwards as you've got the TPU shiny side of the tubes facing downwards. So it's TPU to TPU to get a good seal. You're going to fold over the end of it so that the TPU is facing downwards on that fold to the TPU that's facing upwards of the floor. Align it centrally in between the two uh, tube pieces. Have the tab, the folded over tab, about a centimeter so that it sits halfway, roughly, in between the tab that connects the tube to the floor. If you can see close up, that gives you about a centimetre of seam halfway across this tab and about a centimetre to seal down at the front. You want to check that the seam runs out centrally between these two bits. And once you're happy with its positioning, hold it in place and get your heat sealing iron ready to seal it down. So here's a slightly uh, more close up view showing just how I've aligned it there. Um, it's underneath, if we lift this up, you'll see roughly halfway along the strip that I put in. And it's folded over. So the TPU is both facing upwards to the TPU of the tubes and downwards to the TPU of the floor centrally aligned on the seam and roughly centrally aligned on this tab here so that there's enough of that tab to come to the front to seal it. So once that's in place you're going to get your iron and seal it down. With the iron you're going to want to iron up to the edge first and you can see just about see the outline of the seam there and get a nice seal up to that and make sure where you stopped sealing before make sure you seal and bridge up that gap do the same thing on the other side push up to the seam getting out any air bubbles or wrinkles and really push with the side of the iron into the seam there it's double thickness because you fold it over so you can push up against that as I mentioned before, you should be wearing gloves at this point so that if you do slip, you don't burn your finger. And once you've sealed up to the edge of the strip, then move the iron on top and press directly down there to seal. Seal it to the top. This way it avoids any wrinkles and air bubbles. So you're going in at the sides. And once you're happy they're sealed, onto the top. Once you're happy the top has been sealed, then move in at the front and push in there to make sure a nice seal is formed up against it. Be really careful not to touch the black floor fabric as it is TPU facing upwards. I'm doing it one side at a time just to make sure I get a nice seal. We'll move on to this side. Push in, up against the seam, and I'm using the edge of the iron to push up against that. And then, you can see it hasn't sealed yet because it's still popping up. You might just need to hold it in place for a second for it to get hot enough to seal. And then make sure you get right up to the edge of the black. Push out any air bubbles that might be in there. Once that's sealed down, you can just go over it, go on top again. You'll notice there's a small gap left here, really tiny, maybe less than a millimetre. That shouldn't leak air, but if it does, in a later stage, we get an AquaSure sealant and we glue over that just to make sure there's no air leaks. So 
So this method I've just described of attaching the seam to the floor by folding it over and sealing it down is exactly the same for every single seam. So if you forget how to do this or you're unsure, come back to this video and re-watch it just to confirm. Okay, so now we've sealed that in place, we're going to start using our stainless steel bowl to do the curved seam. The way I do this is I place up there and work with it going away from me like that. So I just reposition it into place. Okay, so now we have the bowl in position. We've got it so the black floor fabric is sat on the flat top of the bowl with the tube fabric draping over the rounded side of the bowl. You're gonna want these pieces of tubing running straight forward as possible. And you can put this over your shoulder to keep it out of the way. And what you do is you align, align them and you'll see they line up and then you take this is held in place as you've sealed it to the floor. Take it, go maybe two inches down the seam. And once that's in place, ensuring that you've got evenly distributed. So the seam gap is about halfway across this seam. And once you're happy with that, pin it down with your finger, get this back out of your way, get your iron, and being really careful not to touch the TPU of the green tube fabric. Just working, working down. You'll notice there's a little crease there. I'll just push the crease out. You'll know when it's heat sealed because it will stop popping back up and it'll stay stuck down. Again, again as before, it's really important to go right to the edge of that seam to get a good seal. As before, you should be wearing gloves for this because if you go a bit too far, you could touch your finger and burn it. So once you're happy that's stuck in place, you can go and swap hands and you can do this side of the seam. Just making sure you've got a really good seal. And ironing out any wrinkles and creases in there. So you can see I've done that section there and that's essentially the process for the whole of this. You just move it back a little bit, align a new section, put that on shoulder, align a new section, pin that with your thumb there, bridge a section, make sure it's central, iron that bit and move on the whole of this seam. But I'll show you as we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna demonstrate the next section along. It's exactly the same as what I've just shown you. So get this out of the way over your shoulder. We'll align this, the end of the bit we've just done, just on the ridge of the curve. So that's lined up, they're lined up. And you just wanna take that down there, keeping it central over your joint. Pin it with your finger down there, pinned at the top. Make sure it's straight. These are draped naturally where they want to be. You want to grab your iron and just work your way down, sealing it. As I mentioned, this uh, Pro Star iron we're using is is quite large and you can see most of the iron is not actually getting used, it's just the tip of it. So if you can get another iron which is suitably powered, you might find it easier, but it's just important to make sure it can maintain the temperature that's needed to activate the TPU. So I've just done one side of the seam and the central section. That will hold it in place while I swap hands 
and do the other side. See where I'm going to. And that's the basic technique of a simple seam where it's going to line up easily. At some point there might be a slight curvature and when we get to that point I'll show you that. Okay, so there's a slight curvature to one side on this one, so I'm going to show you how to deal with that and how to avoid any wrinkles being left in your seams. It's only ever so slight, so there's probably not going to be much of a wrinkle to show up. But it's the same as before. Take your piece of fabric, take it to the end of the stretch that you're working on. Again, don't do too far, just an inch or so. And line it up centrally. Now, when you line it up centrally over the two adjoining bits, you're going to be left with a little bit of excess material where you're curving to one side. You can see it just there. It's not much, but if you just try and go down, you might end up with a little wrinkle. So what we want to do is just push that, push that out, seal it down and just keep on pushing it to the end. And that'll give you a wrinkle free section of seam. Okay, so as we edge towards the edge of the seam, you might notice in order to line them up, you want to separate them and they're no longer lying flat down there. So you just want to let them go wherever they want to go. Just so line that up, you see that? They're butted up to each other with minimal gap and those creases are coming out there. Just let that be. And as before, line your seam, seam up centrally over the join and just iron as usual. Swap hands to go to the other side. Go right up to the edge to get a good seal. And continue to the end of the seam using uh, either that technique or the original technique. Okay, so as we get right to the very end of it, hopefully, if you've kept it straight, they should line up more or less. They might be a millimetre or, or two out. Now, you don't want to go right to the edge because these markings are where you're going to iron it back onto the floor to seal it up. So, you want to leave about five centimetres or so from the end. If more, it doesn't matter. You can seal it up at a later section. So, as before, line it up center of the seam, leaving that gap from the end, and then that will be that seam done.
So at this point, I'm gonna go back over my seam and do the same thing as I did before. I'm gonna try and pick up any edges with my nail. If there's any bits that just aren't sealed down, I'm gonna get the iron again and just iron over that bit just to ensure it's sealed really nicely the whole way along. Okay, so I've just finished uh, this seam. I've been over and checked the edges and sealed anything that needed re going over. So you can see what it looks like on the inside. Butt up nicely and that should give an airtight seal. But whilst we have the pack raft open, we seal it with Aquasure urethane glue just to, to make sure because once the pack craft's sealed, you're not going to get back in if you've got any really slow pinhole leaks, so it's, it's worth doing. But that's a later stage. Okay, so I'm now going to seal the exact same seam on the other side of the boat. It's uh, symmetrical, so everything's going to be exactly the same as that one. Um, if you're unsure of what to do, uh, go back and review the video because it's exactly the same process. Okay, so I've just finished this seam here. Uh, that one was exactly the same as this seam. And now I'm gonna move on to this one and this one, which are very similar also. Okay, so as we get approximately halfway along this seam, it's similar to the previous ones in that it will start curving ever so slightly. In order to seal that, you're gonna to want to separate them out and line them up so they're butt up straight to each other. Remembering to keep this seam running straight forward, but you'll notice that these crease out to the sides when you make them straight. They're not gonna fall down like that. So just let them sit where they wanna sit. As before, just line up your seam centrally. Then those coming out to the side and heat seal it on. Okay, so I've just finished sealing to the end of this seam. That's what it looks like from the inside. You'll notice we've got all of this. Uh, that's excess, and we'll be cutting that off at a later stage, but just leave it for now. As before, you're gonna want to go over with your finger and just see if you can pick your, pick your nail up underneath any sections, and if you find any, just reseal that with uh, the iron just to make sure you've got a good airtight seal. Just go all the way along and see if there's any bits that you've just missed. Once you're done, we'll move on to the seam on the other side. Okay, so I've now finished the four center seams. Uh, these are the simple ones that you do to begin with. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to do the seams that go out towards the end. So one here, one here, and one here, and one here. These ones are, are slightly more difficult as they're curving uh, in more than one direction. You've got the direction curving this way and you've got the direction curving that way. So when you join them up, you're dealing with that curve there. A bit more difficult, but uh, not a problem. So click on the next video to see that now.